Hello everybody, lesson 9 from TypeScript Quickly Series. We keep reading chapter 2 from the book and today we will start using interfaces. So far we learned how to use type keyword to define, to define a new custom type. We tried to define a new custom type using the class keyword and today we'll talk about the interface keyword. Basically in TypeScript uh, you have a, an interface keyword which allows you to define a type. In a way it's a similar to class but there are differences. We'll talk about the differences though. Also the, when you work with uh, interfaces you can enforce another class to implement what was declared in your interface. We'll talk about it in a separate lesson. For now just the keyword interface. So what we can do, we can take this piece of code and we can go to TypeScript uh, Playground as usual and we can try it over there. Playground, uh, let me get rid of this part and paste from the book as is. Take a look. We declared an interface person with three properties. First name, last name and age. In the interface, you can only declare properties. You cannot implement any properties. You cannot initialize them. You cannot add to the interface methods which are implemented, meaning have some code in the body. The other important thing is that JavaScript does not support interfaces. If you will take a look at the right hand side over here, it didn't generate anything. It did not. If I would if I were to, to do class instead of instead of an interface, it would give me some code on the right. As usual, it asks me for initialization. Uh, we will get rid of it. So it would generate something. If I would select the target, uh, an older one, ECMAScript 5, it would generate another code for, for the class, a different one. See, ES5 didn't support classes, so it generates a function. But if you would declare an interface, an interface instead of the class interface, then different story. It doesn't generate anything on the right to represent it. The question is, why do you even need it? Uh, during development type, it'll lead you and it'll point to any mistakes that you might have in the source code. But the production build doesn't include this code. So in, the, in that regard, we can say that interface mm, performance duty, that it's not needed anymore. So let's take a look at this little piece of code. I have an interface person and I have a function save person which expects the parameter of type person. We expect an object as an argument right, that will include all three properties which are defined in the interface person. And it'll just print uh, something on the console. How do you pass the value? How do you create an object that meets the type declared in the interface? Pretty simple, you can use the uh, object literal notation like in any other place in JavaScript. Curly braces, right? The only thing is that now since we said that const p is of type person TypeScript static analyzer will check and make sure that we provided all the properties to this uh, 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 object let me get rid of age see it complains it says uh, uh, it says property age is missing in type it says you use provided first name last name but you forgot to provide the name so See, during development type, it's cool. It helps you to make sure that if a function, for example, or a method expects a parameter of type person, you give an object of type person. No typos. Next, if, why would you use classes then instead of interfaces? Why not always use interface to declare custom types? In some cases, you may want to be able to create an instance of certain type using the new keyword and you want to provide a constructor to the type. With interfaces you cannot do this. For example, you cannot say something like uh, const um, per 
equal new person. It won't work. Especially when you misspell the word person. It doesn't work like this. Why? Because you cannot create instances. And person refers to a type it tells, but it's being used as a value here. In many places you may see these errors, especially when you will be using the type keyword, like we discussed a couple of lessons back, or interface. But so if you are trying to do something to, with objects, if you are trying to initialize properties, it has to be a class or obviously a regular a constant on or variable if you're not talking about if you are not talking about custom classes or custom interfaces so if you need a, a class with a constructor then you don't use interface you use class uh, so like we did in the in the last lesson you can specify a constructor uh, over here and you can either provide parameters or don't provide parameters but see the, the this line doesn't complain anymore because now we have a class not an interface well let's go back if you would define an interface uh, you wouldn't be able to initialize the value let me do let me go back to interface yeah, let's see if I will try to do uh, uh, Mary won't work uh, uh, first of all, uh, no constructors, of course. So let's fix this part. But now it doesn't like this either. It says interface property cannot have initializer. Interface is only to define a type. You can say what's the difference then between interfaces and type keyword. Type keyword is also for defining type. Type uh, keyword is basically more of a more of a uh, creating for type alias. If you want to create a type alias, if you want to create a type alias for a primitive type, you wouldn't use interface in there. Remember how a couple of lessons back we created a type alias foot uh, uh, for the height, right? But it was actually a number. And now, if you have interfaces, you, you can use inheritance and interf you can create another one interface that extends the other. This is not for the types. I'm not sure if it'll even compile with the types, but say I want to create an interface employee. Employee in there, right? And, and I can say that my interface employee extends, extends person. Extends person and I can define something else in there. For example, um, uh, set uh, salary set salary and some uh, method in there no set salary it doesn't let me do this let me in the interface let me do this set salary void something like this so I created an interface employee that extends person but I add functionality I declare I declare a method set salary in, in the interface. So now my interface employee, since it extends person, will have three properties, first name, last name, and age. And it is expect, if I will be using employee, employee, uh, I'm expecting, I'm expected to have there a, a method as well, set salary. So if this would be an employee, I would need to implement set salary over here inside this object letter as well. The other thing is, if, if you use type, you can have only one type of certain name defined in there. But with interfaces, you can have more than one interface with the same type, with the same name, sorry. So see, I have an in interface person defined as three properties, and I also have interface person defined at, as uh, having a method set salary, both declarations will be merged in there. Uh, coming back to classes, as I said, as I said with classes, uh, you can use constructors, you can create instances using new, uh, if you declare the new type, a type, sorry, with classes. This is, this can be really important uh, when uh, you'll be working with some frameworks 
uh, in TypeScript that support dependency injection. For example, in Angular framework, you can define a class, a UI component, and you can, let's say, product component. And you can define a product service, which is a class with certain utility functions to maybe to connect to servers or something like this. Uh, if you do that, Angular can inject, can create an instance of your class product service and inject it into your uh, product component, UI component, right? Uh, but if you would declare the product service in it as an interface, Angular wouldn't be able to do this because Angular wouldn't be able to create an instance of a type which is an interface. There are different workarounds, if you, but this is not a training on Angular, so I'm just, just telling you uh, the differences. We'll be using types, more types in mm, uh, when we'll talk about generics in chapter four of the book. We'll uh, be able to uh, query, so to speak, the object and say, tell me what are your properties and what are their types. So there are situations when you can use only type and uh, you cannot use a value. You can't use an object as a value. And uh, we'll have a chance to see this. Uh, once again, coming back to chapter two, in this figure four, it's a snapshot from uh, Playground. You see how the interface person has no representation in the generated code. So from the practical point of view, you can think that it's beneficial. Your code, your generated JavaScript code will be smaller if you use interfaces for declaring type instead of classes. Why? Because interface doesn't have a footprint in the generated JavaScript. So technically interface is your friend during development type. So you will not make typos, you will provide all the properties that are expected and so on. Once again, uh, a bit later we'll talk about how you can use interfaces to enforce the contract between an object. So the object has certain specified properties and methods defined in the interface. But that will be a separate lesson. All right. So. Uh, in here, uh, there is a small sidebar about what to use type interface or a class. I already mm, tried to, to, to compare and contrast what to use when. Usually, mm, usually I use, I would say, I'd use mostly interfaces unless it's a class with, with functionality that has to be done. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today. In the next lesson, we'll talk about structural versus nominal type system. And thank you for watching. This was Yakov Fein.